Hey there Living Jet Setters, today we have a very interesting review coming up because I'm going to be reviewing Fly Dubai. Very excited to be traveling on Fly Dubai and it's my first time flying out of Terminal 2. So join me on this journey. Now today we'll be reviewing Fly Dubai in the economy class. Now normally Fly Dubai actually has a, both a business class cabin as well as an economy class cabin. But we'll be reviewing, reviewing the economy class and we are flying to Tbilisi in Georgia from Dubai. So I made myself to the only lounge here which is at Terminal 2, uh, the Marhaba lounge. Now remember when you are at Terminal 2 there are not a variety of lounges because you got to remember that this is this terminal mainly serves uh, Fly Dubai and most of the low budget airlines. So cheers to that. So boarding has begun and Terminal 2 does this. So basically we have to board a bus and make our way to the plane. So let's go. So our aircraft for today is uh, Boeing 737 MAX 8 and uh, after a lot of debate it's finally back in service so yeah looking forward to traveling on the 737 max so that's our bird for today very excited to be flying on fly dubai and especially the 737 max so let's go inside thank you very much welcome on board good evening Hi, sir. good morning with her <laughs> yeah may please check the boarding pass if you don't yeah, mind 29 enf Oh yeah, both are here. All yeah. right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hello. So we'll do a quick seat review. So I'm very happy and glad to see that there's an actually an entertainment system, which uh, many low cost airlines actually do not have an entertainment system. So that's pretty good. And the entertainment system seems quite responsive. Oh yeah. So that's something nice. And you have a tray table which is pretty neat and clean and you have like a storage kit here uh, basic safety instructions the leg room seems to be quite okay I mean you have quite a decent length leg room and let's check out the now we'll see how is the recline let's see a pretty good decent recline too uh, not bad and even have a nice comfy headrest which uh, many low cost carriers actually do not even provide a uh, headrest so that's a good thing that I can see that's here uh, in fly Dubai so so far looks good crew seems very welcoming when we were entering uh, greeted us with a smile so very nice looking forward to this flight in fact a flight time to Tbilisi will be 2 hours and 25 minutes and uh, also order uh, pre-order your meal on board uh, for a little extra fee so looking forward to checking out the flight dubai service to on this flight so there's even a usb port here if you want to charge your phone and all so that's pretty good and maybe so because this is a 737 max aircraft is pretty new so maybe that's why you have all this like the entertainment system and also very impressed Alright, now coming back to the entertainment package, um, most of the movies here and remember it's a low cost airline so you have to actually purchase the package. Now before takeoff, let me show you something cool about the entertainment system if I'm going to pan back. You have this feature where you can actually say let me sleep or wake me up for meals which is very nice. So right next to us we have an Ariana Afghan Airlines which is a 737-400. Apparently this aircraft is not manufactured anymore and this aircraft was first manufactured in 1988. Thank you for the safety equipment on board this Boeing 737-8.
cabin lighting which uh, actually is very uh, pleasing and soothing for the eye so they, it's called like mood lighting Alright guys, so we're gonna do the washroom review on the Fly Dubai 737 MAX 8. Well, uh, if you look around, uh, it's pretty small but uh, pretty neat. So let's see what we have here. So you have some tissue papers, just like a basic soap, um, a small sink. You have, uh, and a bassinet yeah so that's uh, pretty much it uh, about the washroom review nothing much that I can add about but yeah it's pretty clean and uh, great lighting also so. The meal service has started but it's basically buy on board and if you have pre-ordered your meal uh, I think they will serve it right up to the seat so that's what I'm hoping for so let me see if uh, the flight attendants are attentive and they bring my meal up to me so the meal service has started and we've got some chicken noodles here uh, with some water at the side so let's take it there we go guys, that's the chicken noodles, looks pretty good, let's see how it tastes. Well I'm gonna dig in, pretty hungry, so let's see how it is. Not bad actually, and quite good for a hot meal on board, so that's a thumbs up for me. Well, what do you know? That was actually yummy and delicious. So as we made our way into Tbilisi, to summarize my flight, well I think I had a great flight and Fly Dubai does an excellent job of getting you from point A to point B with a few amenities thrown in between. Now remember it's a low cost airline so uh, expect to pay a few bucks if you want a little more facilities or amenities on board. But I think uh, besides that Fly Dubai is excellent, the aircraft's clean, the crew is excellent and uh, I think it's a great great service airline overall. Now Fly Dubai in its fleet does not have wide bodied aircrafts. It basically has only uh, single aisle aircrafts like the Boeing 737 family and especially the new uh, MAX aircrafts. They fly to various destinations uh, like short haul routes within Europe and Asia predominantly. As we have a wonderful meal here and was it worth it? Yes, I would say definitely worth it because overall a great flight. I think I really enjoyed that flight. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until we meet again.